Good morning, folks. We've got increasing solar flare activity, slightly more in the plasma activity realm as well. Yet another group of sunspots is incoming. We look back at a major satellite event that happened about 40 days ago, and we see a new paper on Earth's magnetic field, its behavior, its genesis, and what can affect it. We're starting, as always, with our star, and we find the last 24 hours dominated by the bright sunspot groups. We still have the plasma filament crossing on the north, but you can see how the corona was disrupted pretty well at some stages, and that activity is perhaps the most important uptick at the sun right now. On the GOES X-ray flux, we can see that following the X-class flare two days ago, the emission died down, but is climbing back today, already having a couple M-class flare events. You can see these X-ray emissions in a combination of 94 and 131 angstroms here. You may also notice that towards the end it appears we're getting more from just behind the limb, on the south incoming. When using 304 angstroms to watch the major motions of plasma, we can see that a relatively calmer start to the last day ended with more significant activity bottom left, including several jet plasma eruptions from the active regions. None produce significant CMEs, but these are often good pre indicators of that energy building to CME production phase. We will not only be monitoring these sunspots for flares and coronal mass ejections, but as we noticed in the X-ray emission view, we will also have to keep an eye on more coming into view. At the end of the sequence, you can see the arching plasma populated magnetic fields coming over the side there. The train of sunspots will continue this week. Quick update on ICON, it's been about a month since we learned that the satellite went down during a minor space weather event. Its unique orbital position and device suite make it the best to monitor the ionospheric impact of space weather, but also make it vulnerable to specific impacts from the solar wind, both electrical and in terms of plasmaspheric density. There has been no success regaining contact with the spacecraft. Finally. An excellent paper here exploring alternative explanations for Earth's magnetic field and its core characteristics. The georeactor model is absolutely fascinating and honestly, as opposed to the standard model of Earth's interior, something between this and the star in a jar sauna luminescence water plasma model make far more sense. And just as important, this model includes easy explanations for extreme solar flare induced geomagnetic reversals and excursions, and indeed, they not only match up through the long history, but the modern geomagnetic pole shift and weakening began in 1859, during the last super flare, the Carrington event. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more and explore further with the key resources we have for you. Links are found below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6am in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.